and welcome to Homecoming 2020, proud and loud at home. For all of us, Homecoming has always been a time to gather and celebrate UMass and our community's achievements. And while this year you're watching from home rather than spending time on the campus you love, we're continuing that tradition in the best way possible. Here on campus, we've set up the Mullen Center as an asymptomatic testing center to be proactive in keeping everyone safe. We are also doing contact tracing and making current data available through an online dashboard. Today, we're excited to share some of the amazing work our alumni and students are doing in the face of the pandemic in our region and globally. These members of the UMass community are embracing our revolutionary spirit as they create innovate and provide care during COVID-19. I have been really honored to be president of the Alumni Association for a couple of years, but particularly over this last six months or so, because it's been amazing to watch how alums have come together and have been really making a difference in their communities. This past April, I had just returned home from my semester at UMass after students were told that any on-campus classes were ending. I received word that I was gonna be activated with the National Guard to go to the Holyoke Soldiers Home. Every day we'd go in and just act as medics, help out the nurses, doctors there, caring for these sick veterans. And just hearing their stories every day of the, these incredible lives of service um, was so inspiring to me. I was stationed in Africa for 14 years working on HIV and Ebola. And what I really learned from all those experiences is that at the end of the day, it's people at the community level that can really make a difference. If we each do our part, we can end outbreaks. And that holds true for today's COVID-19 pandemic as well. I found myself just five, six months ago being a medical student over at UMass Worcester um, at the medical school. And within a few weeks, I had a master residency program, graduated early, and actually was working in the hospital uh, to helping take care of friends and neighbors. So this, the past few months has been quite a whirlwind. You always remember every patient you take care of. And I remember I had a patient just in the first few weeks of the pandemic who actually was a neighbor of mine. And I will say it was a solid two months before that patient was asked to ICU, um, but I remember they were able to leave and eventually go home. Even before COVID, one of our areas of focus was uh, healthcare and the delivery of healthcare in low-income countries. And when COVID hit, there was a massive panic about the shortage of ventilators. We came up with two things. One is a device that we call the IPAP, the Intelligent Positive Air Pressure Machine. And this machine can be used in a remote clinic in a village, in a, in a hospital, in a city, it can even be used at home. And we're able to have a pre-assembled oxygen generation systems that are shipped uh, on site and get it up and running in a couple of days. With COVID-19, we had many students who were displaced from their settings um, because their facilities, their outpatient practices are uh, close to having student presence. And so really thought, how can we A, get these students placements, but B, help to respond to some of the needs of what's happening today with COVID-19. And so I created this call to action clinical, one where our students um, did outreach calls to the elderly in the community, providing support services, and another uh, wonderful initiative that was providing um, mindfulness coaching and support for athletes of color. And what I learned was just how important it is for community members to give back and to really connect. I think it's pretty fitting that our mascot is the men and men because during the time of the Revolutionary War, the men and men were the people that dropped their ordinary lives and answered the call to serve. And that's exactly what men and men in 2020 are doing. I think from its founding, UMass has been a tool that really instills uh, for its students a sense of advocacy with doing something right when that situation arises. And I think all of us leave the campus learning that we have to do more than just simply for our own good. The impact of this pandemic has been profound on all of us. And while we're in the midst of the pandemic, we can shift our focus to what really matters most. We can reach out to those we love and care about 
in the UMass community and beyond and help them to stay safe and healthy. Look, if you graduated from UMass, with respect to the, the global population, you're already part of the 1%. Let's take this amazing education we've had and, and make some good trouble with it. So for alums who want to get involved or want to get more involved, we have a platform that has rolled out recently that is called Connect UMass. And that is a, a, a way to connect with other alums. It's a way to hear about what's going on on campus. Reach out to your networks, reach out to other people you know who are UMass alums who maybe haven't been involved either. And let's really work at getting engaged at this time that we can use more involvement from all of our alums. UMass Amherst alumni make us proud every day. And even though you can't be here to celebrate with us, we're going to celebrate you with a week's worth of virtual events. There's truly something for everyone. Finally, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting UMass Amherst. And thank you for being the proudest and loudest alumni in the world. Go UMass!